Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now you may have noticed how uh, silky smooth my gimbal tilt, tilting down and tipping up has been. And what I'm gonna do is provide everyone with a uh, with a real life demonstration of how I do it. So the first thing obviously I'm gonna do is turn on my Phantom controller. Always turn it on before you turn your Phantom on. Uh, this is Irix guy's 4K Phantom 2. So I've got 4K Ultra HD video as well as uh, FPV first person view. Check the link within this video's description. You can order this online. I've got step-by-step -step tutorials, and it's very simple. Don't don't be freaked out for how to uh, how to install all these components step-by-step -step in 4K Ultra HD. So it's actually really easy. And again, you can order all of these components there. It's it's uh, it's very affordable for a quadcopter, and it's very simple to put together. Even if you're not a huge tech-savvy person. Uh, so the next thing we do is turn on my GoPro. Obviously, you want to make sure that your GoPro battery was charged. And something a lot of people don't realize is that when you finish flying, if you leave your GoPro plugged in uh, with the uh, USB cable that attaches to the gimbal, it's going to recharge that GoPro by way of the battery that's in your uh, that's in your Phantom 2. And also, make sure that your orientation is correct. If you've got the latest GoPro Hero 4 firmware, when you tilt the camera up or down, the GoPro itself will automatically sense is the camera upside down or whatever, and it'll adjust the uh, the video accordingly for you once it starts recording. So that's a cool feature. I know I've had a lot of videos in the past because I use GoPro for other applications other than just a drone, and maybe I was filming on a monopod and then I put it on my drone and I forgot to flip it. That's a good way to, uh, to remedy that potential uh, pain point. Uh, so once you have... Uh, once you have your GoPro on, you want to obviously make sure that that you had uh, erased <laughs> video so there's sufficient amount of space to record, and, and I did that. I've got a full memory card. I could record for two hours and ten minutes, so more than enough for these three batteries that I'm going to fly with, the, uh, with, with my Phantom 2 right here. So I'm going to start recording with the GoPro. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is power on my Phantom 2. And since I'm in a new location today, a new field uh, geographically, I'm not in uh, I'm not in the USVI today. So I'm in a I'm in a new field. I'm going to need to recalibrate this. I'm going to make sure that I have my home point set and and all of that all of that goodness before I go airborne here. Always make sure that you've got battery life uh, that's sufficient. I'm uh, turning on my black pearl so that I can have my first person view. And something that's always neat and functional is a helipad, such as this one. So check the link within this video's description. You can find the helipad too. What it does is provide you a platform to land on that's not only challenging, you can turn this into a game with friends, uh, but it also lands, allows you, say the ground was wet, I could put this on the ground and land on a dry area. But I like it because when you're landing on that, it just gives you a really cool camera perspective when you're touching down on the helipad. So we got that there. Uh, let's see if our FPV is, uh, is here, and it is. So what's cool is that, and I don't know how well you can see it, you probably can't see it at all in this camera, but when you're using your gimbal tilt, and this is what this video is ultimately about, is, is filming smooth video. This knob right here is on the upgraded Phantom 2 controller. So if you get the, uh, the Phantom 2 version 2.0 that's listed within this video's description, you'll get this knob. And what it enables you to do is tilt down and tilt up. Uh, check the other video that I posted 
where I explain how to uh, how to make this silky smooth with firmware updates. And the secret is is that when you've applied those settings and you're flying, because out of the box, this will be somewhat rapid movements. You want it you want it fine tuned, so it's a very slow and smooth toggle, just like filming on on land with a uh, with a camcorder on your hand. If you put that same camcorder on a monopod, you're gonna get smoother video. So that's why it's important to, and I'll pop up an annotation. If you click that, you'll be able to see how to, uh, how to fine tune your gimbal control knob as well to, uh, to make your video silky smooth like mine. Uh, so before I take off, I'm gonna position the camera in the most downward position so that I can get a really cool uh, shot here. I'm gonna crank up my motors. So there goes my motors. We're gonna take off. video but you can see it uh, when you're watching this because I've synchronized the audio this really cool just silky smooth tilt just makes it really uh, makes it really optimal what I'm gonna do now is tilt down and you'll see how even though I'm moving the craft forward to where the GoPro is filming it's just that very smooth and slow gimbal tilt and that's what makes the difference between a uh, between a for fun rig and a uh, and a professional aerial camera, and it's these it's these minor enhancements that you can make that will really set you apart uh, from other people that are uh, that are filming drone videos. Because ultimately, it's about the video quality. If it's jerky and unwatchable, it's just not it's not something that's going to be uh, it's not going to be something that's going to attract a lot of views. And if you're like me and you're in it for the uh, YouTube, the YouTube video fun, then you need silky smooth video. Just look at that. Look at how smooth that is, even with the prop guards up there. Now I've got it in the utmost position. You notice that when I toggled from the bottom to the top, there was not a jerk. There wasn't a jerk or a pop or jitter. And that's because I've, I've professionally tweaked the, uh, the control of this gimbal knob. So again, I'm popping up that annotation again now to where you can see how I configured my upgraded Phantom 2 remote to, uh, to function in such a silky smooth fashion. I'm using the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition, uh, filming at 4K, 30 frames per second, uh, Ultra HD. So if you've got an Ultra HD TV, crank this up. Both the drone video and the video that you're watching now over my shoulder, that is all 4K Ultra HD. So just a really incredible, Incred incredible uh, video rig. And there's there's a lot of people out there that'll say, you know, you need to get, uh, and, and I love DJI, don't get me wrong, uh, but there's a lot of people out there that'll say, you need to get the Inspire one, you need to do this and need to do that. I challenge you to get an Inspire one and produce as good, if not better, visual quality than what you're seeing right here. So this is... Uh, this is what I like to consider my, well, I call it Irix Guys 4K drone. All it is is Phantom 2 platform using DJI FPV hardware, high-end stuff, but on a budget. So it's, uh, I mean, the quality speaks for itself, as you can see within this video. I mean, just look at that. Look at how silky smooth that tilt is. I mean, that is not... Uh, I mean, that's, in my opinion, that's professional quality. I know there's a lot of video people out there that that may say, oh, you could do better than that. Well, sure, I can do better, and I'm going to. But I think for now, this is an excellent aerial video rig with FPV. And, and I've got, uh, you can check the link within this video's description for all the hardware that I'm using. I'm actually putting a new antenna on here that's even going to further improve the FPV, uh, the FPV view. 
Uh, because right now I have, uh, I just have a couple of antennas. I have one of the antennas that came with the black pearl, and then I have another antenna that uh, that came with the with the DJI FPV kit that you can find within this video's description. And uh, I'm putting on a new one, and you'll have to stay tuned for that video. And I'll, I'll post a link to the antenna so you can order it. But it's uh, it's supposed to add some incredible range, and I'm going to use it in conjunction with. Uh, with one of these two antennas that I have on here now. But let's fly over us here. One of the cool things to do is kind of do, because uh, now the camera's facing down, but to kind of have it facing down and then as you're going forward to, uh, to tilt it up, it gives a really cool perspective. Just that slow tilt as you're going over something. And then likewise, when I go over this truck here, I'm going to tilt down. And just get those really cool sweeping shots. And see, so you can see me waving at it now, so you can see this is real time, right? Because I've synchronized the video from both my 4K GoPro and this 4K camcorder that I'm talking to you on. Let's bring it down really low. So see, you can see that level of detail. Just incredible. It really is. And now let's pan out. So using the gimbal knob, I'm going to uh, I'm going to tilt it up. Watch this. It's a very slow and controlled tilt. Look at that. And then if you don't want to get your prop guards or your props in view, you can pan down just a little bit. See, there's people up there, so I'm gonna go after them. Let's do something really cool. Let's land this on this helipad here. And again, all of this, even the tutorials to build it, you can find within the link within this video's description. Uh, and if you can't, drop me a line by way of irisguy.com and I'll be happy to, uh, to email you directly a link to whatever or answer any questions you may have uh, to the best of my abilities. So we're tilted all the way down now. Let's, uh, let's get this right over the helipad here. And let's put her down. Now there is a significant amount of wind, probably 15 mile per hour or so. Uh, but that's not a problem for this thing. I'm gonna pan the camera up. And then right before we hit this pad, I'm gonna tilt it down. That's another good thing. You may not want to land your goat your uh, your Phantom 2. With GoPro facing down, unless you have uh, unless you have a lens protector on it, and you can find those lens protectors within this video's description too. I highly recommend it just to better protect the lens of your GoPro. So let's bring this over here and let's put her down right on the pad. How about that? actually landing itself because I was I had low battery I didn't have the battery 
uh, charged all the way. So I went ahead and landed it on the uh, on the side of the pad. That's how well it works. Again, check the link within this video's description. Order all the parts. Build yourself a uh, a Phantom 2 with 4K Ultra HD video, just like I use. Irix Guys 4K uh, Phantom 2. Check, uh, search my channel for that, Irix Guy 4K Phantom 2 and you'll find a ton of videos. I've got a lot now and a lot more coming soon. Uh, so thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Y'all have a good day.